I really got nothing to say anymore. I really don't. What is there to say? The only thing I can think of is maybe they're tanking to get a lower seat, which I really don't understand. Either way, you still have to play somebody. Um, I'm trying to think. Two, three... You still, you still had to go against Boston either way. It doesn't really matter to go to second or third. Um, that's my only explanation of why they're playing so garbage. I don't know if they gave up on the fans, but I know one thing: the fans are giving up on them. That's my only explanation out of this whole entirety of this thing. But before I make my proposal, make sure you subscribe to the Roma channel for Franchise Sports TV. Um, I'm posting over there a lot more, a little bit more, because honestly, YouTube is getting on my nerves. It really is. Certain people can say, oh, shoot, certain people can do certain things on their videos. Some can't. I'm also getting tired of the. I have to admit, I'm getting tired of LeBron fans. Um, after a while, it's all fun and cute in the beginning. But after a while, it's just like now I'm getting tired of them. I really am. Then again, they will also come to the room with Channel here, but who knows? But I'm just getting tired of them. And when I want to talk LeBron, I don't want to hear any death threats. I don't want to hear... Any other, any other stupid stuff. So make sure you go check out that Rumble channel. Franchise Sports TV. And post some more LeBron related content. Especially when I want to go off on them. Over there. And maybe other people as well. So anyways. Going back to this. Here's my proposal. For the Milwaukee Bucks. Dane. He can go to Miami. After this year. Go take take yourself to Miami. You feel lonely in Milwaukee. Go to Miami. Go to Miami where there's so many distractions. Where there's women all over the place that take you for your money. Go down there. Play with Jimmy Butler. Bam out of bio. And also take Giannis with you. And his brother with you down there. And um, I don't know about Doc Rivers. Everybody wants to put the blame on Doc Rivers, but keep in mind, uh, this man only came halfway through the season. But Dame and Giannis need to go to Miami, join Jimmy Butler, go play down there. Everybody else will make do with. Yeah, the Milwaukee Bucks are going to suck for a minute, but I'm already used to that. I went from 2005, 2010, had a good year in 2010. Then went from, what was it, 2012 to up until they got good as probably 2015. As them being really terrible. I think at one point in time, he had the worst record in the lead. I think it was like 13 and, you know, he can be 66 and 16. They was probably 13 and 69 or something like that. That's how they got Jabari Parker in the draft the next year. Uh, in the first uh, first round. Second pick, you know, they didn't pan out well as they hoped, but little did we know. Uh, Giannis was, I guess, the true, going to be the true superstar of this team, but that time is over. Go. Just go, Giannis. Just go. You don't want to play anywhere where you can feel like you can't win? Go to Miami. Go take over in LA or something. Um, but we'll manage. I said the same thing about Aaron Rodgers about a year ago. And look at how that panned out. I'm not saying that's going to pan out for the Bucks, but look at how that panned out for the Packers. I said, Aaron Rodgers, just go. I'm getting tired of you complaining. I'm getting tired of you acting like a diva. Just go. Leave Green Bay and go. We'll be fine. We got a young team. And look what has happened so far. 9-8-8. And there's about freaking a couple of points for going 
to the NFC Championship game. But anyways, back to the Bucks. But yeah, please, just go be honest. I had enough of the complaining. I had enough of the diva mentality. I had enough of Dame not having that. Like I said, there's there's like a tier when it comes to mental and mental capacity and aggressiveness and um having that I guess in this way mama mentality there's only a few players that have that there's only a few I don't think this league has any of it right now currently we had to wait and see with some of the younger folk but uh currently this league does not have the mama mentality at all when the tough gets tough let's jump to a super team but anyways, um, Dame, he don't have the winning mentality. He has that loser mentality. These are facts because he should never lost to Toronto on Friday. Luckily, I was at the Suns and Timberwolves game when I saw that score, so I couldn't react like an idiot in the stands. I just sat there just looking like, what the hell? But anyways, now is my time. Just... just He's a loser. Dame's a loser. There was a mistake trading for him. Should have kept Drew Holiday. And Boston probably wouldn't have been as good. Shoot, you think about it now. If they would have kept Drew Holiday and still getting Dame, they actually would have been, uh, shoot, they actually would probably have been uh, in the first uh, number one seed instead of Boston. Because Boston, keep in mind, Boston... Uh, Marcus Smart was already gone. I think they had Christoph Porzingis, but they had Drew Holiday. They was really. I don't think they had Christoph. Maybe they did. I know he had the other center. I can't think of right now that they traded to Portland. We was to have Drew Holiday and um Grayson Allen on our team. It probably have been perfectly fine. I think the mistake last year was, uh, I don't think that's going to happen again. Jimmy Butler just got hot. And some of that did go on Drew Holiday, but psh, they ignored that for some reason. But um, for the most part, Drew Holiday is known as a great defender. I think we should have just ran it back with the team they had before, and they would have been better off. Than what they got now. Because what they got now is giving me headaches, high blood pressure. You know, it's not even giving me that because I, I don't even care anymore at this point. The season's over. They're done. They suck. Like I said before, Giannis and Dame go. End of story. End of discussion. There's no scraps in my scrapbook. <laughs>